so uh, we are blessed to uh, be back at the 2020 Miss Olympia um, and with Wings of Strength as the owner, I, I just don't see any uh, heights on like where we can go because it's, uh, it's of course, it's possibilities are endless right it's a matter of promotion you know any product that you don't promote what's gonna happen like if, if you have a soda and you're not gonna promote it who's gonna know you have this soda you know so you gotta do a lot of promotion and that's where wings of strength is like such a blessing because um, you know their heart is female bodybuilding that's like yeah Jake Woods has been working hard to support us and I'm just so impressed at what he's done over this short amount of time to put us back on the map. So it's been a lot of support through him and Wings of Strength that has allowed this to happen. Yep. So um, I really see a bright future for the sport, and uh, I'm looking forward to compete in both shows this year. Um, I have a big goal, personal goal for myself, and that is to be the first woman in history to hold both titles. Yes. So we shall see, you know, um, I'm always up for challenging myself and uh, this is a big challenge I've taken on and, and I'm looking forward to uh, work towards it. I mean, I'm already working towards it. I'm in the off season right now, a very productive off season. Um, this is actually the first productive off season that I've had in right on. three years. That's amazing. Um, I had a breast uh, implant surgery that went wrong uh, a couple of years back. So I had surgeries three years in a row. I remember that. And now I'm done with it. So this year is the first year with no surgeries. So I have really been able to uh, been able to make the most of it. Great. So. I'm excited for you. Have you ever competed on the Olympic stage? I have. Okay. Uh, I have, I think, uh, I think three times. But you know, when I competed, it was like, you know, I was still a rookie. I didn't have the physique that I have sure. now. Right. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to compete in that competition, being at my absolute best. Who wouldn't, right? So, can you briefly just tell us the process of turning pro? Like, how did you go from amateur to pro? Well, basically, um, you got to win a competition that is a pro card qualifier. Right. Which show did um, you win? Well, I was in Europe, so uh, at the time we didn't really have any pro card qualifiers. It was sort of like you had to win uh, your national uh, championship. Okay. So I won the Danish uh, championships. They they didn't they didn't think it was enough that I won the Danish nationals. So I had to go to the Scandinavian championships also, which is Norway, Finland, uh, Denmark, and Sweden. So I won that one too, and then they were like, okay, <laughs> we think, uh, you know, you should get a pro card. Okay. So at that time, you had to like first, you had to apply at your own federation, and then you had to apply by the IFPB, and I got my pro card that way. Uh, today, they do have a uh, pro card qualifies. It's actually just... I think two years ago that they had started a competition called Nordic Pro that nice. has a pro card qualifier. That's amazing. But everything, I feel like the sport is progressing it is. Uh, everywhere in the world and uh, it's definitely uh, a lot better opportunities than when I started bodybuilding for really progressing, turning pro, competing also. It's much easier these days to be competing all over the world as an amateur or as a pro. There's a lot of shows. Yeah, I think fitness is so trendy and popular now. It's becoming more and more popular so that our sport is getting more and more exposure because people are m more into being healthy and fit nowadays, whereas maybe, you know, decades ago it wasn't really the norm, especially, I think, for women to even be in the gym. I don't even think women really started lifting weights in the gym to like the 80s. So it's it's made a lot of progress in a short amount of time. Yeah, for sure.